main man, but look out for Lennon and Gooman getting forward and creating 2v1s against Toronto's fullbacks. No Insigne available for this game, so Enton, Brandon Cervania, who makes his first start for team. Such a unique dynamic underway with Toronto FC wearing the white and gray kit on the ball to play into the attacking third. Houston, Michael Bradley to pull this back. One back by Atlanta. Wiley able to play this ball into the 18 and a shot off the side of goal. First dangerous moment of the night for Atlanta. He did against DC, losing the ball in their own half, and then Atlanta looking to break. And it's good play from Wiley. He drives inside. That means there's, the, the, there's then space in the wider area for Berry, who's drif drifted out there because Larea had come inside to try and stop Wiley. But because he's not been able to do that, that left the space. K to the foot of Bradley. The 35-year-old veteran, Cervania, will have a go from distance. He's scored in that from that range in the past for FC Dallas. Derek Etienne Jr. come on as early as the start of the second half last week. See what the game plan is for Pineda and Atlanta this time around. Here's Gutman looking at goal. Gives it a go from distance over the bar. Wiley. Wants to take on Larea, plays this ball in. Mark Anthony K got only so far, and another save by Johnson. The rebound loose, Larea under some pressure, taken back by Atlanta once again. Yeah, it's a magnificent save. And they say you'll just see on this replay, it's hit, and then it takes a deflection on the way through as well, which makes it an even better save. And Hosetu, you can see his reaction. Almada service. Hosetter from distance gives it a go, parried away by Johnson again. Just as a, it's just out of shot, but Bernadeschi doesn't track Hosetu. He's then got the time and space to then have the strike. Bob Bradley was not waiting to push this to halftime. He immediately gets the healthy player on. Now on the ensuing corner, Lennon hit it strongly, and it's over the bar. Juanjo Porata. Toronto has utilized one sub already. Akinola for the injured Diamande. There are no other changes to start the second half as play gets underway. And Almada to quickly work it ahead. They seek out Lennon. Play top of the 18. Sean Johnson once again to answer the call. Jonathan Osorio. Able to send this in, waiting for Benedeski, a save made by Guzan. Large period of inactivity in terms of shots coming in your direction. Guzan answers the call. Mark Anthony K does well defending against Almada in transition to Toronto FC, but it's one back. Poseto. Again, very little time to make decisions. Pulled back neatly by Sean Johnson. Michael Bradley. Bernadeschi. Timed his run well. Has Larea on the overlap. Bernadeschi cut centrally off the left foot. Scores! Federico Bernadeschi opens the scoring. Toronto FC out in front on the road. And the Italian superstar has given them the advantage here in Georgia. Rea, if you watch Bernadeschi now, he sows a seed of doubt in Gutman's mind. That enables Bernadeschi to go inside onto his favoured left foot. And it's a wonderful finish, but the movement of Larea is absolutely brilliant. And that's how you can assist a goal without even touching it. It's a wonderful finish. Guzan can't get down quick enough because there's so much pace on the ball. But you see Larea once again, the movement is outstanding. He wants the ball, he's not getting it, and that's why he's not getting it, because Toronto's game plan is going according to plan. Bernadeschi perfectly for Bradley. Michael Bradley takes a peek at goal, he'll give it a go, nothing. Guzan is terribly by time. Well, I think from, from minute one, they've looked a lot more secure defensively. They've had a really good defensive structure. A hard challenge in the first card of the game out of the pocket of Nima Sagafi will go to Franco above. 
He is so good in the box at finding space from crosses coming in. We're told he was working individually since arriving in the United States and had one formal practice session with his new team that took place on Friday. Etienne Jr. brings it out of midair. Here's Almada, closed down quickly by Bradley. A shot takes a deflection. Seto needed to have more of an impact higher up the pitch, and it's exactly what he does here. He takes the strike, and I'm sure that he takes not one deflection, but two deflections on the way through, and it gives Johnson absolutely no chance. It initially hits K, and then on the way through, it hits Hedges. One substitute involved, Etienne Jr., he plays the ball back, and then Atlanta. Richie Larea able to take on Etienne and Goodman, slowed down, edge of the 18, and wins a free kick for Toronto. Yellow card is issued to Derek Etienne Jr. Almada pulls it back on Bernadeschi a second time. Able to whip this ball in. Headed off the post. The follow-up is in. It is MLS debut, Yakomakis, but the flag goes up offside. Yeah, just see as the ball comes in. Oh, that's very, very close. I just wonder, is it off the second ball? Robinson, no. Yakumakis. Tiago Almada. Uh, Uju on the left side now. Whips this ball in. Saved by Johnson on the golden opportunity by Goodman. For Goodman, we talk about his underlap. Well, it's another one that he's done here. And it's just an instinctive shot, and it's an instinctive save as well. And not only is it a good save from Johnson, he gets it out of the dangerous area gets enough strength behind it just to get it out of harm's way. But Gutman, how many times do we see him just get himself into that position? He's so deep. Lennon, the short option. Brooks Lennon once again, able to drill this ball across, save made by Johnson. Deflected off Atlanta, and that will be all. This match ends in a 1-1.